Good evening. Welcome to the face of. Yes, the show started way before the real show rolled off. Uh, this is Peter Kivazo, Friday evening. With me, Richard Baguma. He looks shorter than usual. Uh, welcome, Richard. I feel it was shorter than usual. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I, I know someone must have done a trick on you. <laughs> so you do. The Haji is Ibrahim Semujunganda. Welcome, Ibra. Thank you. And uh, of course, we can understand the Friday attire during the fasting season. Uh, very the last, emphasized. The last 10 days, mm. uh, even more important. Yes, and the, and the balding Charles Romshana. Uh, he yeah. has uh, quite a, an open roof. Uh, <laughs> <up there. laughs> the Almighty God is great. I asked Rom Jana when we are entering whether you can fit anywhere. But oh, is he a <laughs> For those who are kind of blind, I, I, told you, I told you last time. <laughs> <laughs> Even the, 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 do, the, the dean of students brings him to Makerere. To plead with the students <laughs> to participate in guild elections, <laughs> they organize, spend money. Then the Romishana is a guest speaker. Having been a guild president, they thought he would be the one to do the job. But at the end of his speech, he says, "Actually, don't participate." <laughs> <laughs> okay, rebo in, in it, right, viewers? Um, uh, today I go to the place where Semuju lately operates his business, Parliament of Uganda. Um, this comes on the heels of comments made by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, which I have said before here that I largely agree with several things. He says the Parliament is a crowd. I would never defer with him. 374? Yes. That's a secondary school. Now, he goes beyond that and says it is devoid of quality. And I don't want to disagree with him. He says members of parliament do not do research. I want to think some are actually unable to do research. And he goes beyond and mourns the past. He says when he's opened pages of the Hansard from the past, he cries and mourns at what has been lost. He goes as far back as people like Cuthbert Obwangor, of, 60s. of the 60s. And he comes further forward up to the 6th parliament and mentions people like Ekulo Epak and says they were impassioned for a country. I don't want to ask the question whether parliament is actually truly those things that Olanya observes. I want to ask the question, is it possible for us to get the parliament to do better than it is doing? One, by reducing the numbers. Are we able to reduce the numbers to cut down on the crowd? What would you do to have quality debate? Because one of the responses to Olanya that I found also credible came from uh, Cassiano Wadri. Wadri says in a place where you give people up to only three minutes to speak. Sometimes two. Yes. What do you expect them to say in those minutes? What impact do you expect? of them. And I think even Wadri up to that level is right. Semujunganda, I have read, I know David is not here, uh, the parliamentary scorecard <laughs> a number of times. <laughs> and I have used it to denigrate certain members of parliament. And when a friend of mine was campaigning, we actually took copies of it and circulated it in his constituency. Because one of the lines there was asking influence and the scorecard said zero. Uh, how many times has he spoken in Parliament? It said zero. So during the campaign rallies that a friend of mine had, he would read it out and it was a chorus among the audience. They didn't care. They still wanted an MP that would go for burials. They wanted an MP that would go to the fundraising of the churches. But at least my, pre my friend was delivered to Parliament, courtesy of David Pukos' scorecard. Ibra, mm -hmm. one. Does it matter whether we have a good parliament or not? Two, how do we get one? <coughs> when uh, Dr. Kure Parker died, <coughs> I was still in the media. And I wrote an obituary in which I said it, it was good he had died. I did not imagine Kure Park sitting in a parliament where 
they were tomato growers with no value to add to the debate and to the parliament itself. I made the <coughs> same remark when President Museveni now staffed cabinet with a lot of children. In fact, I remember one time. Did you say children? Uh, yes, I did. <coughs> I remember one time MPs were very angry with the Chibule that mm. they had said they should rape women who are in many skirts. And I told Chibule I was not given an opportunity to speak, but I wanted to say something which I eventually told Chibule that I actually was going to support him. Because I think the problem was not Chibule, but Parliament that approved him. That's what I told him. That in any country, whether it's, a, it's a Somalia, how can I have Chibule in the cabinet? How, if I am in Zimbabwe, can I share a platform for serious discussion with Chibule? You are in the cabinet. In Zimbabwe, you sit here, and here there is Chibule. There is all these sorts of girls. That's what is in the Parliament. By the way, of late, I told Kasibante, that these days I want to sit in parliament and just watch. You stand up, they give you two minutes. As you are laying um, <coughs> a preamble, they are telling you your time is over, or they will switch you off. When Oranya spoke on the sale of UCB, I think it was the seventh parliament, I was still a journalist mm, in parliament, mm. he nearly spoke for an hour. He had prepared for that debate. He had he spread books and uh, statutes and they allowed him to speak for nearly one hour. When Olanya was done, there, almost there was nobody who wanted to add something. Eventually it was Mao who came in and he, asked, he thanked him for having raised the debate beyond the, the word I will not use. Then eventually Odong Oto. And I think three more people spoke and the matter was finished. Even when you read the answer, the, this one of ours, they, they are one line. They are, sometimes there are people who will not make a sentence. If you are Mbaba who first looks at everybody at his shoulder, and before he speaks, you are told your time is over. <laughs> but it is not only the numbers that actually is the problem, but people who are in that parliament. I saw MPs are very angry with Oranya, maybe because he's the administrator, so he must defend the institution of parliament. Mm. I am not one of those who will blame Oranya. I think that parliament is a nightmare. When you are in committees, it is a disaster. So you can't be proud that you are part of that parliament. At the beginning, I thought maybe they will learn, but a lot of people are not even interested. So they didn't come to parliament to debate, they didn't come to parliament to make a contribution. I remember one time when we were passing the public order management bill, the day we were suspended, me and Otto Sechukuo, and, uh, and who was the fourth person? Um, the NRM MPs, because you see, for me the anger was because they did not participate in the consideration of that bill. They simply came to vote. What they didn't know, many of them, they simply came to stampede the bill into a law. So when we were quarreling, eventually we moved out in anger uh, at one stage. So they started uh, insulting us for having, we were voted into parliament to debate, now we are running away. Eventually Katunt went in alone. Oh. And he told them, I, I, I can understand. You can abuse my colleagues and insult them who have gone away. They have participated in the debate, consideration of this bill. They disagreed with you, and that's why they left to take a decision. But you should be angrier with people who have come on border borders. Others have come walking simply because they have been told you go and vote. It also used to happen even when parliament, uh, but there are, I mean, even the speakers, I think they, they both have a problem. When Wapa was in, in that chair, including, by the way, uh, weaker speakers like Ayumi, they allowed the debate. There are certain individuals who were allowed to speak each time they stood up. The, uh, uh, ben, Wacha, ben Wacha, Winnie uh, Park, the Winnie Vianima, the Matembez, <coughs> Emmanuel Pinto, um, the Benedict Mutiawa, and so on and so forth. But today, Someone comes, uh, I will not use, because I think the, where you have very weak Busoga, especially the women MPs of Busoga and Uganda, I think we have the, the, the weakest. So you look at an individual and say, now, why was she around? Maybe it is, even three minutes are, are many. Some of them, I think, they deserve half a, a minute. Ibra, 
what do you do to get the quality you will not get the quiet as long as you, you have a president who wants to micromanage parliament decisions must be taken in nakasero then parliament should just rubber stamp see the environment now this revolution you can't have in parliament they will even beat him during campaigns because it will go, you can't predict him. Are you saying, uh, yeah. are, are you re reminding him that he has been beaten before? Because yeah. he has been beaten in yeah, campaign. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the environment can't bring a Romishan to parliament. <coughs> they would go and bring some boys from his area. They are no, the MP from his area yeah. is a general. Yes, I, I, I am just using Romishan as a <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I one time I remember we were with, the, I don't know who we were with on a radio station, and I told him, just remember the days when Ms. Seven was in the cabinet with Mshega, with Kategaya, with the Nasasiras, Muwez, Mbawas. But today, who does he have? Uh, Frank Atumwewaz, he's intelligent, but he doesn't want to exercise that intelligence. You have Chibule here, you have uh, these girls from Busia, you have, and that's your cabinet. Who will advise you? When there was Changkwans in 2003, I went there as a journalist. Jeno uh, Munt spoke, Amanya Mshega spoke, I, who else? Museveni, he had, he had to maneuver. He said, now this matter will come on it. The matter of life presidents will come on it. Wapa was still there. Eventually, he had to get the Baguma Isokes and others to do the maneuvering when he came back to conference center. You no longer have a voice. And that's how Mbaba's got isolated when he was there. So it's not only the parliament that is a problem. The quality of leaders in this country is a disaster. So even before you suggest how do we get good MPs, do you have a cabinet? Charles. Mm -hmm. Uh, Semuju buries the whole thing. He says, forget about it. It's dead and buried. How do we resurrect it on the third day? You, when we were designing, because I'm going to assume that mm. Uganda began in 1995, <coughs> and that began with, with us in the Constituent Assembly. You love gloating about that time. Well, I'm assuming, <laughs> mm. I'm beginning to assume. Mm. Uh, or even if it was, we found it, we found fault with it, and brought a new, a new shape, a new, a new arrangement. So the arrangement was: Parliament would supervise, par would super, supervise the executive to oversee, uh, oversight, mm. and uh, that means it should be independent in thought, and how it even generates its thought, and therefore should be protected. So the tenure of a member of Parliament is heavily protected. And uh, uh, we even gave it power to dismiss the president. We gave it power to approve all his appointments. We gave it a lot of power, including determining its own salary. The objective being that it should be independent. It shouldn't fear anybody, and therefore should uphold the national interest. That's how it was. Mm -hmm. the, pres the parliament could dismiss the president, but the president couldn't dismiss a member of parliament. So we designed it that way. And the subsequent parliaments behaved thus. They, be able to, they started, they started <coughs> reclaiming their, their autonomy. So, therefore, the problem now is not that we can't have characters that were then. No. Even among them, we could have. Serena Nebanda, for instance, was a case she was imagining. Mm. Uh, you could see the zeal, you could see the. But, but she may also rest in eternal peace. Um, but the problem was that subsequently it was designed to, to weaken parliament and then capture it. So another organ, which they had wanted to smuggle in, called the National Council of State, mm. which caused the sacking of uh, Njuba. Sam Kalika Njuba. Sam Njuba, when he leaked it and brought in this uh, minister, this chief, deputy chief justice now. Um, uh, Kavuma. 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 Kavuma, that's how he came in. <coughs> now they brought another organ, not the National Council of State, but they brought the caucus. So the substantive parliament now is the caucus of the national resistance movement. So you now see how it is constructed. Basically, it has three things. One, permanently a two-thirds majority to amend the constitution. Two, permanently a majority to pass the decision, the thought, the thinking of the president, who is the chairman of NRM and therefore the chairman of caucus. So um, uh, th then, now on how to construct it, Split the districts, do whatever you can do, even if it means, it means the rigging, and then suppress, do intelligence and suppress any talent you think is likely to behave like the search goes. Now, even this parliament itself, when they were debating oil, mm. this oil and the gas, it, it tended to take an independent line, and it was vibrant. 
uh, um, when it was debating so so in other words it's possible that it can but you now move on the three mm-hmm. mps whom you have referred to as rebel mps and the rest are cowed down so the the doctor humans is of this world the dombos are capable of 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 of, of causing rockers of, yeah so they crash the reason was that decision making should be centralized because true it is handling complex issues so the way they are in their mini bus or bus or train cannot handle the problems now russia has uh, where a plane full of europeans is brought down between your border and ukraine uh, um you remember when britain was going to when they are going to launch war against syria uh, recently the parliament was called in it debated and they even those who are even uh, conservatives refused to support their their government the same is true with france what can this parliament even resolve this bakonjo problem in the in the Renzo is as of now can it if it can't sort out this small quarrel between uh, a, a constitution cultural institution here and central government it has been bypassed and it's followed its hands it can't reclaim its um, so uh, uh, so the problem is in the architecture how our parliament was designed was fantastic the law is okay but then it was usurped the its powers was usurped and they have looked on so how would you resolve that to mm-hmm. resolve that uh, uh, because you cannot now talk on changing the to reduce it means to change the constituencies mm-hmm. either it would mean amending the constitution until except if they are sure they are not coming to parliament and they become malicious uh, 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 to change it and then reduce uh, 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 vote themselves out but all of them are optimistic that they can be sole candidates some are even <laughs> that, that they want we, we take the president the chairman are the sole candidate and we shall also be sole candidate. new constituencies those uh, who have some sub counties uh, yeah not friendly yeah so if, if you can have a mom and uh, uh, with his integrity the way you rate him also crapping for chim and spirit not that he doesn't yeah, he, he wants a, a key district he, 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 uh, 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 okay but but that municipality <laughs> I, I, I thought much better of him <laughs> no but i mean i'm talking about you, you look at it i don't know whether you know the size of chi i have not seen any trading center in Uganda the size of chi but you want it to be at the same level with chisumu uh, uh with the with the chisumu <laughs> municipality yeah at least even Romshan is not that heavily exposed but at least i've seen the municipalities uh, um now so you 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 so the problem is not that they don't know but that they are innocent they are conscious has collapsed has collapsed because they are no longer run by the head they are run by the stomach and there are a lot of dynamics in the stomach you may not want to know what is the express in the stomach what the stomach contains so all those ingredients now are mixed up with the brain so you can't sort it out using the electoral commission its hands are tied uh, uh, uh you can't reduce the districts it's the dynamics are so complex you you saw so what therefore so revolution richard mm. let me hear the revolution from you the, the, the <coughs> if there is any optimism you see i i really i have failed to fall in love with these um, two things one the usual approach of my generational colleagues because you see Samuel Junganda and Charles Womshana are my generational colleagues um and those ones after us Probably those before us, I don't know. But the ones I understand are these ones whom we have grown up together. There are two elements. One, they portray um, the image of having faith in themselves and those around them. But they know better. I am sure they do. They are clever enough. We have engaged for decades. That's one. Two, they usually point to the others. The problem is from there. I think we are an integral part of the problem. And let me tell you why I say that. My th- own thinking is that the cons- 1995 constitution makers were giving the powers and the privileges and the untouchableness of MPs because they thought they were going to be MPs. No. So it starts from their stomachs. No. Mm-hmm. <coughs> they were they were designing a constitution, good as it may have been, from their stomachs. Mm. And you see, because the stomach is our basis <laughs> of doing our things, it gets replicated. Now, 
because we do not have total control over those stomach um, reactions, chemical, physical, biological, this is what we do. So for me, this thinking from the stomach has not started with this group. No, it started from that group. That's one. Two, we must also plead. Richard, we must hang on. We hold, must hold, 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 Richard. Yes. If I may interject and really give all fairness to this group, this group had opportunity to selfishly say that we can evolve ourselves into a parliament. They did not. They chose to say, at this moment, the CA passes on the mandate and you will elect a fresh parliament whose qualifications will be the following. A number of the members of the CA did not actually qualify to come into the next parliament. They had locked themselves out. They said, you need a high school qualification. Several of them did not have that. But they did not selfishly hang on. A example, we asked the, uh, uh, Zindana, uh, Mr. Zindana, whether he would accept to be IgG so that we are uh, we put in a qualification that would allow him to be IgG and he refused. He was part of that committee, I remember very well. And we had to put that you have to be a judge or somebody equivalent to judge. But we knew Zinana was there, he was with us, and uh, there was an attempt to ask him and he said no. So I want to disqualify the feeling that they were utterly driven by their needs in the stomach. In other words, you are saying that there are no mm. Zindanas in the subsequent parliament. Yeah. No there example. may be a sprinkle yeah, of They them. are not there. Uh, Semuju Nganda is one of them. They are not there. I am not a Zindana. Don't overrate me, I am not a Zindana. You see those individuals, the Zindanas and others. No, by the way, the original Olanya is not this one. No. Uh, yeah. That Jacob Olanya that fought with Tumwina in the corridors <laughs> of parliament. Was, over the UCB He was the, my speaker yeah. when, would I, was, not be when I was in Makerere mm. and Olanya made the speech we confronted the police. <laughs> we went to war, they fired at us and killed some of us. I almost you died there. You see. <laughs> but it's a different one. <laughs> it's 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 not, well, the Olanya that it's spoke this different. past week is, is the original is Olanya. Not, no, this one is a resurrected one. It's different again. You see, it's, not the, it's not different. You see, I have had with Charles Romshan, Sam Junganda we met a little later, during, I think, the university times, we have just been reminded. With Charles Womshama, we started from high school. I have argued, and he knows, that the character who is called his excellence, Yoweri Museveni, has never changed. It is the same person we are dealing with. And people tell me he has changed. We have, we have read and heard of stories from his or ever days, in scripture union in entirety. It is the same. So you see, if you have a group of people, and that's what I was saying, that we must plead, that's where you cut me short. Mm. We must plead guilty to the failure to read, to properly read context. So we, we, we had this capture. When, when did the capture start? After 95? Really? The attempts at capture started in the 70s. And we know the history of attempting to capture Parliament. institutions of government. Parliament being one of them. Finally, in 1985, which you want to call 1986, the capture succeeded in capturing the institutions of government. And somebody wants in their minds to convince me that I should believe that then the, the capturing person is going to relinquish. Why? What, what has made them want to relinquish now? So for me, <clears throat> the process of capturing that we may talk about that has happened, the, the process of consolidating power in a certain center is the process that has been on since so many decades. And, and for us to, 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 to convince ourselves that this process is going to change, <laughs> I want to be told why we believe that this is going to change. So for me to say, Quality of parliament. Uh -huh. Quality to do what? For that one. <laughs> yes, quality to do what? I, I, I was, I was, uh, we have argued about this. That you see, that person is uh, not quality for cabinet. It is the one who appoints. They'll go on, who knows what they are supposed to do. And if they appoint them and reappoint them, they are satisfied. 
if 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 no 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 He satisfied with what we are doing. He has a point. You see. I mean, for me, you so. see, a country, a country, Richard, cannot be run like a personal estate. What you reduce <laughs> us to is a personal estate of a one year way. But that's what is happening. <laughs> see, the, what you don't know is that functionally there is a cabinet. What you see is not the cabinet. What are you saying? Yes, there is another cabinet. There has been debate about Akaju. I, I don't know how I can put Akaju in English. The house. It's there. Mm-hmm. Where it's called a kitchen cabinet. Ah, very good. So it's there and and it op- it's operational. You should thank me for knowing English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of English. Yeah, yeah the, the, the even parliament there is a substantive parliament where people sit and decide. We had a discussion when some group sat to, de- to decide what to do with the Rukwago. Elias Rukwago. The, the, the It was decided somewhere else. It was not decided in the council. No, but you see, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, the time I was in parliament as a journalist, even when they wanted to do something silly, they had very serious people to come and tell you that it is actually not silly. I remember one time when the WAPAs spoke, the Kategayas, the, the Otafires, the, 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 they were saying something Siri, but everybody believed that actually it is something today they no longer have someone who can speak and convince even primary school children. Mr. Mseven no longer has that group. The Otafires have now folded their hands. And, and that's why I, I agree and disagree with Romshana. That the, 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 the type of politicians that Mseven was working with and assigning to go and represent him, they were very qualitative individuals. When they came to sell uh, something, it was very difficult to resist them he no longer has that team because one by one he aged them out frustrated all of them he now sends uh, individuals to parliament who will need a lot of echoing for them to to survive the day and, and that's how he has reduced his group and that's why even when they go and i've told you 2003 you still had the people within his group they spoke Even himself, I remember one of the MPs telling me that I have never seen Mseven humbled like it today. When Mateme spoke, Mushega, uh, I think Ategaya did, uh, Mugisha Muntu, he had wanted that matter resolved there and then, but he said now, okay, we will have a committee. So he no longer has a team. I actually don't believe that there is a kitchen cabinet. And that's why they have been fidgeting with these things of Kampala. Because if you have these children, uh, I am sorry to use the word uh, children, uh, KK, They are now the fixers of things. The other day you had uh, Mbabazi, you had Kutesas, you had uh, Wapakawa. They haven't gone away. You have, I mean, Wapa has died, no, they, but they the Mbabazis are, are here. They are no longer there. What does Mbabazi do? Even Kutesa, I think they have repaired. Yeah. You know can, so, can how that bridge looks like? At least he was crying for the bridge so, of so at, uh, so at that time, in terms of quality, yes, Mr. M7 employed the people who were quality. They were selling us things that they shouldn't, but they did. So in terms of matching, even within parliament itself, today, he no longer has that luxury so if a minister stood up Somebody in parliament to flash speak, the coin the other side yes supposing that president Museveni doesn't have it does the opposition have better um i think in terms of uh, quality the opposition yes i, I would say yes uh, but also we don't match the opposition of the six and the seven parliament uh, we don't so it, it has also significantly um reduced so when oranya comes up to say that this parliament is this i actually saw him they even wanted to have a motion to discipline oranya <laughs> this time uh, i don't agree with them i think fundamentally uh, parliament should lock up itself somewhere you see we are able to hide our inefficiency and and, and 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 lack of quality by the kind of topics we are able to confront at the start of this parliament once we abandon that all the weaknesses now are on table for everybody to see uh, Viewers, uh, before I take the break, uh, I'll just pose a question for everyone to ponder. What is the role of the voter in the whole of this saga? The voters that will ask for, because uh, I think a friend of mine sent a message the last time saying, these voters will vote for Semuju for how well he has insulted the regime or the general in charge. And will vote for Charles uh, or Richard 
for how much soap they have bought and how much they have said they will fat nyai or vote the bus. So why would the voters expect better? Because Semuju has been voted to insult the regime. The other person has been voted to sleep but wake up and vote with the regime. So what is the role of the voters in delivering these people to where they are and giving us quality? Do they matter? Don't go away.